Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Brain Lord. I am your host, uh, Elevator, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I had defeated the giant... Whoa, hi. I had defeated the mighty and ever so impressive monster that was a giant cockroach. In it wasn't a dragon, sadly. And I found these technological ruins, which I did just gives me another fairy. Okay, fairy, the light fairy, which more or less acts as a lantern, but it flies around all annoying like, like most fairies do. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. Hmm. You know what? With these qualities, I'll name him after my brother's nickname. Val. In. No, I am one letter off. Oh well. Valentine works, I guess. Now, if you know the layout of the area, you really don't have to worry about having the light fairy on you. But, for the sake of simplicity, and so as you guys can see... Oh, hey. Bear, Barnes, how you doing? Maybe this building was used for experiments. Doesn't look like anyone lives here. You know, save for a bunch of robots. But yeah, for the sake of simplicity, I'll go ahead and just use the light fairy whenever I need to. Which means that I'm either going to suffer in the attack or defense. Hmm, that's locked. Whoa, hi, cyberdisks. Freaking cyberdisks all up in here. Yeah, they're fast buggers too. Ah, uh -uh, but not powerful. I wonder what's through here. I legitimately do. Oh, hi. It is dark. I don't like it when it's dark. Hulk Hogan will have to be put back, and we'll pull out Val. There we go. <laughs> he produces. Nigh on nothing for light, but if you move slowly enough, you don't have to worry about it. And I found a heart. And there's a bunch of switches that turn on and off the lights. I don't know why the hell they make a giant floor panel sized switches in order to open or turn on the lights, but eh, I ain't gonna complain much. I'm still gonna complain, just not gonna be much. Oh hey, another chest. Drop of Protect. Alright. So I want to tell you guys something about the Drop of Protect. And the Drop of Power in that case too. Uh, the Drop of Protect and the Drop of Power have a chance of... 1 in 3 chance of just variabling up. And you can stop at a save point, save, use the drop, and if you don't get the max result, you can restart. I did this for about 20 minutes with one of those Drops of Powers and it was constantly providing me a 2. Except for one occasion where it gave me a 1. So, I'm gonna do those on the downtime, not between videos. Really smells good! Um... Oh, Darius. We're cooking this scorpion we found in the underground. We're roasting it using the high voltage in the floor. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, make sure you remove any of that poison stuff, you know? Well, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't- Ow! It hit me! All these doors are locked! Was I not supposed to go this way first? I almost have the distinct feeling I wasn't supposed to go this way first. Of course, then again, it's always in my instinct to go left first, if only just to stick to the man. Danger. High voltage. Oh, jeez. Now, if anyone that has also played in the Enix games back in the day, and those guys look familiar, that's because they're the the they're the, 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 the Tetsujin from the oh jeez oh it's this room the Tetsujin from Seven Saga flying machine floating transportation. All right, so this is you know how I said that there are spots in the game where you can grind for experience for your fairies. This is one of them. Because these guys are one hit in this area, and it's that one that always, always drops him, drops a bit of experience. 
So what I might do in my downtime as well, if I, you know, don't complete these ruins all in one go, is simply go forth and grind my little arse off. Like, it's seriously one of the- oh, Jesus, I hate this one. It's seriously just one of the easiest things you can really do. And if you don't, you're pretty damn screwed. Ugh! Alright. Got the cave room key. Found on the first floor, side of the central area, points to the southwest. Alright, so it's probably that first uh, locked door that I came from. Eh? Again, it's one of those things where if you're familiar with the area, you can simply just jump over whatever is in your way. Ow. Yay, Valentine's level increased, and he does very little at level 2, actually. Uh, I gotta remember what uh, level is the max level for the fairies. I don't think it was very high, though. It was like 5. I'm gonna use one of my hearts. So I like having health. I should actually have 12 at this point, but again, I've been using the hearts as restorative items as opposed to just straight up buffs. We Oh, there's a sign. What's this plaque say? First look for someone to light the darkness, otherwise the expedition will get... I did that! I should have gone right in the first place. Well, son of a crap it. Well, might as well record my progress just in case things go wrong, which they might. Alright. So, this one should be the cave key. Cave room key. Yeah! Yeah, it's little small obvious hints like that that the game loves. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about these laser platforms. Alright. These ones you actually gotta be careful of because they can really drain your health really fast if you're not careful enough. God damn it. Ow. Ow. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I really did need to go uh, right in the first place there, didn't I? Oh well. Let's see what's in here. Uh, okay. Dark room key. Might as well have a look at it. I love these key designs. Uh, blackened brass key. Uh, yeah, that, that tells me a whole lot about where it goes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, I suppose it's a good thing that he leveled up at least the once before getting over here. Actually, no, wait. I think I got a name for the Anger Fairy when I do actually get to him. Ah, oh, that's cheap. It fires off two shots before getting... Hit. I'm about to get hit. I might as well heal. With that other heart jewel. Socket! Oh, my freaking shield's destroyed. That's why I wasn't blocking. This is one of the purposes of having multiple shields. Is that you can actually, you know, equip them. Yeah. Eat it. I got a shield. So, I think they might go in some sort of circular order here now. The keys, that is. Uh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I love how my other fairy there had completely and totally oh, lost track of me when I get on these platforms and I move in that direction. It's just not fast enough. Alright, is this one? Dark room. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. Oh, so, I actually found a very useful resource online that has pretty much a good a good portion of old SNES and NES titles documented for their manuals. Yes. 
So, if you'll give me one moment to find a place that's not full of giant robots that shoot lasers out of their freaking eyes, I'm gonna pull up that manual and actually give you guys the, uh, the actual pseudo background of this game. I know that it took a little bit- oh, jeez, it's already level 3. I know that it took me a little bit to get to this point where it's like, oh hey, maybe people want to know the backstory of this- Ow. <sighs> I hate you, Val. There we go. Alright. Oh, jeez. Maybe here wasn't a good place to check out the, uh... Val, stop scooping them up. I got other fairies that need that stuff. Oh, this is a freaking plot, or, uh, puzzle room. So this is a good place. Just give me a second. Eons ago, when the great demon threw his dark shadow across the land, the king met and defeated him in a fierce battle. The demon was not destroyed, only wounded. In the form of a heavy mist, he disappeared to heal. Before long, he once again set forth his legions of monsters to terrorize the people and to shatter towns. Shatter towns, not raise towns to the ground, just shatter them. Three mighty demons rose up to oppose the... Uh, three mighty dragons rose up to oppose the demon. The Dragon of Wisdom taught how humans how to find safety, and he had the fairies re record his deep knowledge. The Great Demon, once again in physical form, was attacked by the Dragon of War and forced to return to Mist. The Dragon of Good Luck also transformed to Mist and trapped the Demon in an underground cavern. From that day, the Great Demon has been closely guarded by the Dragon of War. An age has passed since the Demon was last defeated, People remember him now only as a legend. The race of dragons and their human brothers, the Dragon Warriors, have also faded into history. One Dragon Warrior remained in a far village. He set forth in search of the last dragons. He warned his son, Ramir, that's actually, that's actually Darius, I renamed him Darius, that he might not return and ask the young man to promise to continue the hunt for dragons. He told him, Dragons and dragon warriors must not be lost to our world. And that's the story of a lovely lady. Well, I'm not a lady. Push the switches in order from the, from the left. Okay, simple puzzle. Yeah, when I downloaded this uh, PDF, I definitely remembered... Gosh, Willikers, I really miss old manuals that actually tell you about the game. Oh jeez, freaking mages up here with their magic missiles. Well, okay. The underground key. Yeah, that's useful. One second. Alrighty. So now I gotta go back through the area that I just came through. Well, at least this time I'll have some light. Eat it! Whoa, hey, no, eat it, go away, yeah. Eat boomerang, foul creature. Oh, jeez, maybe I shouldn't insult the robots with lasers that shoot out of their eyes. Don't you hate it when lasers shoot out of robots' eyes? It's like the worst thing. It's like anything that they look at has a chance of dying. Now, don't get that, don't get me wrong. I bet it's pretty damn awesome to be a robot. But then again, the whole being a robot thing, don't have all those emotion stuffs. Oh, wrong way. Don't all have all those emotion things, which I'm sure most humans enjoy. Most of us. Not all of us. I didn't look at the key. Underground key, found on the first floor side of civilization. Tip the key shines to the east. I wonder where it goes. Do 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 do. Oh, <laughs> I nearly hit Cassian with the uh, freaking. Did you see what was left behind in the room? Interesting, isn't it? Shouldn't you take it with you? You could sell it for a lot. No, I didn't see. I was. I literally just came in here. I'm not even sure how you're in here. Uh. Oh, rain. Darius I slipped and fell on the floor above. Be careful, this trap is especially tough. 
It's stairs, Rain. Stairs. <sighs> I have to question the traveling companions I have. There are many strong enemies here. I'm not good in battle, so I'll buy and sell some items to protect everyone. Cool. Alright, so I guess, uh... Oh yeah, I can sell that leather helmet. I ain't gonna need it. I'm actually pretty confident in my skills of not dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell the gold bullion. And I'm going to regret this decision, I'm pretty sure. I should probably sell all the apples and just buy cheese. Or mushrooms. Mushrooms... Yeah, I'll buy a couple of them. Of mushrooms. Rather safe than sorry. Or in this case, rather safe than dead. If you're tired, this will help restore you. Hey, cool. Good guy, Barnes. He heals you when you need it. So, onward we continue. Ah, uh, yes. More directional... Whoa, hi. Guys, guys, guys. Come on, if you're going to shoot lasers, shoot one laser at a time. That way, the screen doesn't lag terribly. Don't know why the hell I still have Valentine out. Maybe just because out of, uh... Spite? No, not spite. What's the word I'm looking for? Not inability to change him, just a willingness not to change him? I don't know. Oh, hey! Freaking fat pig drummer guys. I don't know what the hell to name them. They got their pigs, and they're fat. And Valentine's not level 4. The puzzle has three numbers. Multiplied together, they at equal 30. Added together, they equal 10. Oh, jeez. Math puzzles. Alright, multiply together, equal 30. Added together, they equal 10. The first is small, second large. Third is the one left. Alright. So, numbers 1 through 6. Ah, oh, there's a key over there. Numbers 1 through 6. Multiply together, they equal 30. Added together, they equal 10. I'm going to have a mental fart here. So give me a moment to figure this out. Figured it out. Two, th five, three. Two, five, three. No. Okay, so yeah, that still should have worked. Two times. Wait. One second. They might have done a screwy on me. I think I remember this particular puzzle being a pain in the arse simply because they might have switched up the numbers, as it were. Instead of going right to left, they went left to right. Alright. So it should be two, five, three. Oh, that's where I went wrong. Isn't it? Two, five, I can't count! <laughs> oh, that was good. Awesome, Darius. Really shows you common sense. Alright. Another one of these, isn't there? Alright, what's this one say? 1252 blank. Alt Although greater in size, it's equivalent in the same in time. This one caught me off guard for a bit. 12.52 blank. So, 12 months in a, 12 months in a year, 15, or 52 weeks in a year, 365 days in a year. Why am I saying in a year? Equivalent in time. This had actually, uh, back when I was super young, Three, six, five. When I was super young, I literally left the game on overnight as I fell asleep and trying to think of the answer. I, I got a boomerang. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Thanks, game. 
Really needed to know that I had wasted my money. Oh well. But yeah, when I was super young, I ended up falling asleep and left the game on all night long. Trying to figure that out. It's like, what the hell does that even mean? I figured it was some sort of, like, puzzle based on, um, math and whatnot. And I tried literally pretty much anything I could think of. My little eight, nine-year-old mind could. Is this a weapon? I can't use it. It's too heavy for me. It's not much, but I'll give it to you. The Morning Star. As opposed to the Night Sun. Yeah, here it is. Attack power 7. Attack with a metal ball. Now, you remember back in, uh... <laughs> back in For Forever Kingdom where it was like, Oh, hey. It's a cool little weapon. Well, this one... If you time it right... Yeah, you can spin this sucker around you. I could never do that in Forever Kingdom. Which I was told several times by people that, oh hey, if you d use a directional key, then you can do the thing. Um, that's closed. But, alright. Do I have a key? Because I'm pretty sure most of the other places are key closed style. I didn't miss any places, did I? Nah, I'm pretty sure there's like one more room up here somewhere. I think I still prefer the boomerang simply for the factor of, you know, not getting me killed. Ah, once again, a room made completely and totally useless. Ah, Jesus, it's this one. Once again, a room that makes Val completely and totally useless. Sorry, buddy. I really should just re-equip Hogan. Alright. Oh, right. I think I need to push both of those just to make it so as that door opens. <sighs> the lag doesn't help either. The only reason why it's lagging about like it is is simply because of how many objects there's on screen. You know what? Let's put Val back for a bit. Because it's light anyways, so... Alright. Heh. Um, heh. 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 This might take a while. Simply because I suck at these sort of things. Oh, I can't jump over that? Frick. Okay. How do I do this then? Because I also need to be able to push them downwards, don't I? Maybe if I... I'll go down first, see what the frick frack I even need. Maybe I can only approach it from the bottom. And that's the problem in the first place. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yep, I need to have both of them pushed down. How am I supposed to do that? Is that easy to figure? Nope, that's not it. That's not it, that's not it. So I think I have to get three of those pressed down in order to even... Oh wait. If I can just... Ah, okay. Don't you just love giant puzzles that involve pushing rocks? I love rock pushing puzzles. Ah, and we get a bottomless key. Alright, where's this one lead? El Capitan. Found on the second floor. Tip of the key shines to the south-southeast. It's rather specific. 
Alright, with this... Oh, jeez. I do need to have Val out. Alright, with this location in mind... Oh, it actually shines quite a bit. I only need to have three of those buttons pressed then, huh? Oh, actually, wait. No, I'm just an idiot, so give me a second. Yeah, see, one of the problems about the puzzles of this game is that when something is... If it involves pushing, and you need to push something, and you accidentally push it up against a wall here, there's no way you're going to be able to get the rock or ball or whatever the hell it is off of said wall. So, we've opened the thing, and it reveals... A banded mail. Uh, which means I probably can't wear it because it is banned. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. Alright, with a 5 defense, that's certainly better than the chain mail. So let's go ahead and equip that noise then. But it doesn't match the color scheme of my helmet! Worst outfit ever! Look at me, I'm carrying around a freaking steel flail, I've got a purple suit of armor, I've got a blue helmet, all freaking Magneto up in here. Oh jeez. I better return to Barnus and save and call it an episode. Simply because I don't want to end up dead. Sounds good? Hope it sounds good. Barnus! Heels! Heels, please! Shut up and heels! Thank you! Yay! Alright! With that said, I'm going to go ahead and save and call it an episode here. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm certainly having a blast getting playing more of this blast from the past for me. So, I'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Cheers.